Well, when a Twins sons, their hometown hero, Felix Tito Trinidad, in just a couple of minutes, that on television, and he told us he was inspired by one of the great champions here, but recently, this young, fresh-faced kid. 1990, oh. after a nine-year amateur career, yeah. listen to the crowd. Hoping someday to be mentioned in the same breath as other Puerto Ricans stand up. It is deafening. Seven years younger than Zulu, Trinidad just an inch taller. Both tipped the scale. His record stands at 17 wins, two losses, and one draw. Hengi Zulu. An unblemished 32 wins, no losses. Do Stay break, stay back, and don't punch. When I interfere, nobody's problem. He's had trouble getting fights. Here we go, round one. Sad. Conditioning and endurance. Feet in itself sometimes. And then comes four, five, and six. Miles him away. Then he starts off at three, four. Bobby Chez's golden rule, which I didn't know in 40 years of fighting. A funky take a try. But Trinidad says he's never been down, cut, or staggered. And cheering right now for it to get started. You can't go by his inactivity in the first round. That is a so focused and smooth. It was whistling right through there. Zulu has an awkward salta. Fight. Round two. And this is the round that Trinidad compromised and maybe worked. Trinidad's body a little bit and take a shot at turns his body, bends his legs, and he digs up underneath and comes up top. He's very chin's concerned. That's a great resilience, I think. Yeah. You I know, the chin may be sucked in the first round. He's not in the second. Zulu. I think he's doing punching. Good defense here by Zulu, able to avoid those left. Zulu, a, a kid who started out in the head of Trinidad back. I'll tell you what, right now Trinidad seems to Trinidad knows how to counter beautifully. The bell. Fresh in the corner there, he doesn't speak English. Neither does Trinidad. Very, very organized. It's very pretty to watch. Frequency with that stuff. It's good night. Lights out. That, that's that's a perfect. Pushing Zulu back. He's so elusive defensively. He's taking a beating here in this third round and showing the effect. You see, Trinidad, once he gets in range, he first starts as Tito starts backing up right at the very terrific third round. Studies his opponent's previous combo. We should see some beautiful fights in the next three or four years. Have cash cows. Nobody wants to sacrifice. Looks by Trinidad. That land. A minute to go in the fourth. That's a paralyzing blow to the side. The left hook right off the top of the head of Zulu. It has what we call a very educated left hand. The throw double left. Good body shot mixed in there. Hurt Zulu. And Trinidad knew it. He's working off the right hand up top. There's a left hook. That one stunned him. So I hope that he's all right. He's still flat on his back. Very, yeah. very clumsy. Yeah. If you look, it's yeah. It's a weird situation there on the left side of the ring. Yeah. In right. the ring, I've, I've never seen a fight, a, a ring collapse in all my years of being in there. It's the hook that finishes him off. That's it. The left hook, and it's so ready to right there, bang. He, he comes in and walks right into the in the ring. It really should. It's very dangerous. He says, I've talked enough about Oscar De La Hoya. Let him come on.